Cut number one. While styling the font, we style it by setting the font style, font variant, font weight, and other properties. But we can reduce all this into one line as shown. You can also exclude the properties that are not needed, but make sure to mention the line height beside the font size only by mentioning a slash. Cut number two. Margin is generally styled by setting the margin top, right, bottom, and left, but this can be simplified into one line as shown. If we remove any one value then the middle value will be applied for both margin left and right, and if we remove one more value, then first one is applied for top and bottom, second one is applied for the left and right, finally if we mention only one value that is applied as margin for all four sides. Same rules apply for the padding also. Cut number 3. While styling the background we style it by styling properties like background color, background image, background position, and other properties. But all this styling can be done in one line as shown. You can also exclude the properties that are not needed. But make sure to mention the slash between background position and background size. Cut number 4. Border is styled by setting the border width, border style, and border color. But all this can also be reduced to a single line as shown. Same method can be used for outline property also. Cut number 5. Coming to the border radius, it has 4 properties, top left radius, top right radius, bottom right radius, bottom left radius. Now these 4 properties can be simplified to a single line as shown. If you remove any one of the values, the middle one is applied for top right and bottom left radiuses. If you remove another value then the first value is applied for top left and bottom right radiuses, and second value is applied for top right and bottom left radiuses. If we mention only one value, then that is applied for all the corners. Cut number 6. While applying transitions we will set the properties like transition property, transition duration, transition timing function, and other properties. All this can also be written in one single line as shown. You can exclude the properties that are not needed. Cut number 7. Animation is generally applied by setting properties like animation name, animation duration, animation timing function, and others. These all properties can be reduced to a single line as shown. And it is not mandatory to mention all the properties. These are the shorthand ways of some of the most used properties, and a point to be noted is, there is no need to always follow the order of the properties. But in some cases like margin, padding, and border radius, where all the values follow similar structure, or in cases like font size and line height, where we need mention slash in between, in such cases we need to follow the order for the desired results. If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.